Well, hey there, insiders. Katie here. I am at Epcot this afternoon, and I just thought that I'd take a stroll through the park. Um, but before I actually entered the park, I wanted to stop by the Legacy Wall, new and improved, um, over here to the left of the entrance as you're coming towards Epcot to come and uh, enter the park. It's over towards the left-hand side, and so I just thought I'd take a little stroll and then head into the park and take you guys with me. So let's go. Well, hey guys. So, like I said, I'm at Epcot today and I wanted to take a stop by the Legacy Wall before I headed into the park. So it is to the left um, before you actually enter the park uh, is where the Legacy Wall is now. Um, the original Legacy Wall was up and running in October of uh, 1999, and then they closed it down in 2019 um, due to all the different things that they were doing at the front of Epcot, the whole reimagining of the front of the park. Um, they decided to shut it down, and then they rebuilt it um, out here to the left of the park entrance. So there she is in all of her glory. I really like all the pretty colors that they have now. Um, really fits in with the new theming of Epcot as they're reimagining everything out here and you know it's just a lot more bright and cheery um, much better than those giant gray blocks uh, <laughs> for the Millennium Celebration this is much more fitting uh, for the Epcot of today Deborah you know what that's a really good question I'm gonna look that up and then I'm gonna answer that question <laughs> Hi from New Jersey. Hi Enza from New Jersey. Cool. So I wanted to take you guys on a little journey with me into Epcot, but I wanted to take a stop by the Legacy Wall really quick. I never got to do the Legacy Wall when I was a kid. Now I'm kind of regretting it because I think that, that would be really cool to be able to come and visit. I've seen so many friends of mine come and visit their, their squares that they bought so many years ago. and. Um, having those memories and we never did it and I'm I'm regretting it now <laughs> but maybe now is a good time to do so cool. so how you find your image is you scan this uh, QR code and it gives you all the instructions to do so when you guys come to the park. So make sure you guys check that out. It's at the, um, the top of the wall and the bottom of the wall. Um, they tell you how to find your image. So cool. Very cool. Yeah, I would have really liked to do it. But alas, I never did. Okay. Oh, you're coming in October? Awesome. Happy early anniversary. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna show you guys something really quick. So um, when you're coming into Epcot, they have like the ticket booths, you know, and along every single one of these ticket booths is a different color um, kind of side panel. And they're all like bright colors, just like the bright coloring that Epcot is, is so enforcing right now um, with their new thieving. And um, all of them are different colors and they all say Epcot on the side. And I just think that that's like such a cool like picture opportunity. I have a picture on Instagram of me in front of the pink one, I think. Kind of 
Hi, everybody. Okay, so we're gonna walk towards the entrance here and get inside. And you guys can see on the other side here, they've actually they've actually installed the legacy wall um, along the right side of the park as well. Um, I don't think that there's as many on this side. I think it's just the one, the one partition. But they're over there as well now. So, cool. Hmm, Ed, that's a good question. I don't know where I'm gonna eat. I don't know, we'll see what we find along the walk. So one of the things that I actually notice about Epcot um, versus the other parks right now is that the wait times seem to vary by like every half hour. Like every half hour, I feel like the times change. Like two minutes ago, I was in front of Spaceship Earth and it said five minutes and now it's at 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> um, particularly this ride. Uh, if you see that it's like a five minute wait, just go and ride it. Just go and ride it. Um, because chances are I could. Um, change wait times almost instantaneously. I think just because of the inconsistency in this park, um, having to do with like the construction and everything, I think that has a lot to do with it. Um, and the fact that there's not as many attractions here as there are in the other parks. Um, so definitely when you see those short wait times, just go for it. <laughs> And you can kind of see the slow and steady progress along the walls here. Having to do with that reimagining of Epcot. Over here is the um, Coral Reef restaurant, which I feel like some people just kind of... Two times I've eaten at the Coral Reef and each time I got something completely different and it was absolutely incredible. So if you're looking for a new place to dine, I would definitely suggest going to Coral Reef if you have not gone to it yet.
for sure. to the right of the seas with Nemo and friends which I believe was all ten minute wait <laughs> I am. <Awesome. laughs> hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> Coming up to the land. The land is definitely one of those areas of the park that I get instant nostalgia. I think like the coloring and just like the vibe of the whole establishment <laughs> um, reminds me of like when I was a kid. Um, so maybe that's why. Um, just because it might rain in a little bit here, I'm gonna have you guys help me choose which direction to go in the World Showcase once we actually reach that junction. Um, let me know if you want me to go right or go left. Cool. Looks like it's gonna rain. So we'll see. I'm just gonna say it. I miss the old journey to imagination because I'm just one of those people that loves old school Disney. Um, the new imagination is fun, but not as fun as the OG. How do you guys feel about this? I don't know, I'm conflicted. It's fun, but not as fun as the Dreamfinder. Just saying. <laughs> We're probably going to spot some topiary and flower and garden festival things popping up throughout the park. So keep your eyes open. Just like those butterflies that we passed. Okay, so Crystal says left, so we're gonna go left into World Showcase. Um, let's take a look at this. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite parts of um, Festival of the Arts is all of the fun little picture spots. I just think that's so fun.
Figment. We love figment representation. Stopping by, seeing one of the chalk artists do their thing. Love that. These penguins have a cute line. Chalk penguins. Who'd have thunk? Ah, uh, 2021. I love you. <sighs> okay, so we said left. We're going left. That was the vote. Now she has a stuff. Oh, I wouldn't stop there. 
Okay. So before it rains, what I'd like to do is I'd like to take you guys towards Mexico, but then we're going to do a little Yui and go the other direction because I kind of wanted to show you the difference in crowd flow in this park around this time. So when you're making plans to come into this park, um, in particular, if you're park hopping, right? So after two o'clock is when you can park hop to other, we're doing that U-turn, is when you can park hop to the other parks is after two o'clock. So once two o'clock hits, everybody and his brother winds up coming to Epcot because it's the natural flow of things because this park does open later than the other ones. They open at 11. And if you're looking to cover two parks in one day, it obviously makes sense to go to the earliest opening park and then uh, and then come to the park that's open the latest, um, which I agree with because uh, it's just a better use of your time. However, when you're coming into the park, if you have an option to come in through the International Gateway, say if you're at an Epcot resort um, on the water there, I would definitely suggest using that um, and not trying to go through the front. Um, if you are park hopping and going through the front of the park and you're going into the World Showcase, I would highly suggest going off to the right first. And this sounds really silly, but it does make a huge difference in your day and all the things that you're able to do and able to accomplish, especially if there's like a festival. Yes. So when we went to the left, because it's just after two o'clock, um, everybody and his brother went left um, because that is like the standard place to start is Mexico. I know the drill, uh, but um, if you're just looking to have a good time and just get as many countries covered as possible, um, or just trying to get a better use of your time, going right instead of left is definitely going to be the best option. So capacity levels, um, I have been hearing, I have not been in the parks um, for a few days because I was kind of away, um, but um, there have been some talks of the parks reaching capacity and all that jazz. But um, today, as of today, um, they did not reach capacity. So 
it hasn't been much of an issue. I mean, obviously, once we get into certain holidays, certain holiday weekends, um, of course, you're going to see an influx of guests coming into the parks because that is typically when people get their time off work because there are a lot of people back to work now. Love it. And as you guys can see, they've definitely implemented some different entertainment throughout the park, in particular during festivals, which just our luck, um, right around the corner is Flower and Garden Festival, and they're going to be going until July, which is like the longest Flower and Garden Festival ever, but I'm here for it because uh, <laughs> I love when Epcot has festivals. I just, I don't know, I feel like that's when Epcot is Epcot the most when they have their festivals going on. So, and they have entertainment slated for the Flower and Garden Festival. Not necessarily the usual stuff, but they've definitely got some things planned for us. Oh, we got some topiaries. Yeah, but I've lost the bug. Peter Pan and Captain Hook have made their appearance. Very cool. So when I said, if you're staying at any of the Epcot resorts, um, meaning Boardwalk, Yacht and Beach, Swan and Dolphin, um, and soon enough, Swan Reserve, um, you can actually make your way through the International Gateway right here. And you'll be able to get into the park through the backside. And if you're coming for a festival, this is a great place to, uh, to start. And like I said, a lot of people will go left uh, when they first come into the park, especially when park hopping. Um, maybe not necessarily when the park opens, but when the park uh, goes through its park hopping phase at around two o'clock, you may want to reconsider and go to the right first. <laughs> Let's take a look at harmonious barges real quick. They've definitely got a lot of activity out on the water now. They've got the two big barges, which they've had there for a bit. Um, there's going to be more added, but for now, um, it looks like they've been testing that arm a little bit today. It was moving a little earlier, so. <laughs> any day now, any month now, 
I don't know, who knows? Who knows at this point? <laughs> but I'm excited either way. Whenever it opens, it's gonna be amazing. I love this view. Ah, beautiful. All right. So we are now in France, in the France Pavilion. Let's come around the corner here. So the whole reason why I wanted to come over by the France side is because I wanted you guys to get a good look at the Ratatouille area of the France Pavilion. Also check out this view. Another stunning view at Epcot. Of the Skyliner and the boats coming in and out just really pretty. Let's take a walk through the new walkway. So there's not a whole bunch back here, but it does kind of tell us that any day, any day, <laughs> Remy's Ratatouille Adventure will open. I'm crossing my fingers. Sooner rather than later. Cannot wait to get on this ride. So back here, there is, um, there's a stroller parking. So clearly that's in advance of uh, when they open the ride. Right here is that stroller parking. And then right next to it is a new bathroom. restrooms and stroller parking and just a really pretty walkway on the other side of this wall of course is Remy's Ratatouille Adventure but we can't get back there yet soon hopefully soon And I'm thinking sometime in the month of March of doing full walkthrough of the World Showcase. Um, so if that's something you guys would like me to do, I am more than happy to do it. I'm probably going to do it anyway because I just really like all the different countries and I feel like that deserves its own life um, and not rushing through it. But I just wanted to bring you guys on for a little bit, bring you guys into Epcot see the legacy wall, see the Ratatouille area, and uh, just hang out with me for a little bit. So 
thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and I will see you guys a little bit later. See you later insiders. <laughs>